lightning struck when Lisa Leonard Dalton performed her Snoopy dance back in 1975. Now, some 40 million views later, the video is still going strong. Hi, I'm Stephen Smith of the King of the House Media YouTube channel. The one and only Sloopy Girl, that's Lisa Leonard Dalton, will be joining us momentarily for her first ever on-camera interview. I'm looking forward to it. It should be great. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. I cannot see you yet. Oh. There you are, Lisa. If you can just move the camera down a tad bit so it's more focused on you, I think we're good to go. Aha. Lisa, now that we're both connected to Zoom, let me get to the first question. Fans have asked why it is that after several years of anonymity, you revealed your identity as a Sloopy dancer in the 2021 viral video, Deconstructing a Myth, Sloopy Girl. Can you explain your timing on that, how it came about? Well, um, years ago, I was never a big uh, YouTuber. Um, the first time that I saw it, as the video stated in December of 2013, I was like, wow. And I would show it to people. Um, I never really thought about pursuing getting my identity out there. One day when I brought it up, I did see someone else's name on the video. I did not like that at all. <laughs> um, I was very determined at that time to get the word out that who I am, I am the dancer. And uh, by starting to make comments back is how I eventually got in contact with you, Stephen Smith. Um, and here we are today. <laughs> getting that word out. Yes, I remember when you and your family first began commenting on my Sloopy related content at YouTube and some other websites. That was a couple of years ago. So I know that your Sloopy Girl reveal was a gradual process and not an overnight thing. We can't really tell your story without talking about Gazari's The Hollywood Nightclub. You very literally danced your way into the role of Sloopy Girl by winning dance competitions at Gazari's. There was the weekly dance contest, then the finale where you were crowned Miss Gazari for 1974. And that brought you to the attention of the people in LA working with Rick Derringer on his 1975 Hang On Sloopy film. Now, Gazari sounds like it was an exciting and a cool place to be. Lisa, do you ever miss the atmosphere in that 70s scene at Gazari's? I would love to go there again. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, they always had good music. It was always very crowded. Um, and me, I just, I hear good music and I just want to dance all the time. Uh, people have made comments at me at various places. I'll be standing here with a little music and I'll start moving around. And uh, they look and they smile. They like that. It's pretty funny. But Gazari's um, had the lights up on the ceiling. And uh, like I said, a lot of crowds um, uh, got to know the owner, <clears throat> Mr. Gazari. He was very kind to me as well. Um, he's the one that encouraged me to partake in the Gazari dance contest. And I continued to go there even after I won the contest. I, uh, we just really enjoyed, enjoyed that place. Lisa, you mentioned that when you hear music, you sometimes spontaneously start dancing. Well, it's my observation that you don't need to hear music to start moving, grooving, and bouncing about. You're pretty animated even in this interview. Maybe that's the dancer in you trying to escape. What do you think? Sitting still has never been a strong point of mine. <laughs> You can ask anybody. Yeah. My grandmother paid me to sit still when I was a little kid because she didn't believe that I could sit still. She gave me 10 cents to sit still for 10 minutes. And it about killed me, but I did it. And I took my little sister, Lori, and ran down to the candy store with my 10 cents and bought us both some candy. <laughs> it was... Uh, that's funny. She she got would get upset about that because she said, how come you got paid? I was always the good one. Yeah. <laughs> that was Lori. And um, I said, well, but I did share it with you. She said, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, we were together a lot as kids. We would 
uh, be taken to a grandparents or whatnot when my parents would go on a nice vacation or something, you know, away. So, yeah, that's that's just a really, I'll never forget that story. It's pretty funny. Paid me to sit still. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, we probably got to call this a wrap. The time flew by. Just so everyone understands, we're recording a number of short interviews versus one long marathon session. Everything will be uploaded to Lisa's Sloopy Girl YouTube channel. Viewers can leave questions for Lisa in the comments, and we'll try to respond in future videos. Thank you, everyone, for joining us in this, the first interview appearance by Lisa Leonard Dalton, the authentic Sloopy Girl. We'll see you next time around, and I'll talk to you later, Lisa. Nice later. to meet you. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye, Stephen. Thank Bye. you. Bye.